Hey Moglets, as you can see from that little level 40 up there, we already started raising Traveler, just forgot to record. Anyway, we are finally raising Traveler. The first hero you get, the first 5 star you get, and let's be real, probably the only C6 5 star most of us will ever have. And after watching some of the Inazuma stuff, so like that stream they had a few days ago, I was thinking, man, that Electro Traveler looks really, really cool. I know Electro isn't the strongest element or anything. You know, I don't care that much about the meta, to be perfectly honest, but Electro Traveler just looks cool. Now we're level 40. Again, it doesn't really matter that much. You know, we just put some books in already. I was talking about, you know, Ayaka will also be coming somewhat soon, but I think we have enough resources for the both of them. And also, Electro Traveler basically has all the things she needs already anyway. You know, these are special just for her. I got, got plenty of these masks and wind wield aster, so let's just go for it. We might be able to get her straight up to 90 today. Moving on up to 60, let's go. What is her main boost? Okay, we get an attack boost. It's okay. There we go, level 70. Oh no, uh, I forgot how much diminishing returns. Oh no, this is only to 80. We might have to farm some more ley lines and I just wasted 3000 XP. Whatever, when we need like a million, it doesn't matter that much. Oh, there she is. Well, the sixth star. If it needs more than like 500, I always forget and never pay attention. I just want to erase how many books it actually costs out of my mind. Uh, but what are we looking at? 600 here, maybe 550, 600. Oh my God, 685 from, <laughs> God, no. Does it really matter? 1800? Not really, actually. Let's go ahead and grab these as well. I haven't used these in a while. I must have... Oh, yeah, I have 21. So, level is done. I actually wasn't planning on getting her all the way to 90 right now, but, uh, so be it. Uh, as for weapon, uh, that's not gonna do. We do have a lot of swords. Could be a contender because Electro is boosted by 24. Not right now, of course, because we don't have Electro Traveler. I already have several good Animo characters, so we're probably going to be focusing more on Geo Traveler for this video. And then, of course, but my ultimate goal is Electro Traveler when Inazuma drops. Currently, she is Animo, so we're probably gonna head to one of the Statues of the Seven and change that real quick. I had a tiny mini heart attack because I was like, well, if the constellations are different, maybe they are leveled separately as well. But no, thank God that this is still level 90. <laughs> oh wow, with uh, C1 already, she gives a crit rate boost. Huh, constellations are definitely not bad for them all being completely free, I would say. Still gotta decide on a weapon. We might just give her Primordial Jade Cutter for now, just for fun, you know. It's a pretty solid sword all in all. Pretty nice base attack of 750 though. Of course a bit better with my other 5 star sword. As far as artifacts are concerned, I was actually thinking about having her and Zhongli in the same team because Geo Resonance actually got a lot better after its buff. And since Zhongli already has the 4 piece tenacity set, uh, we're probably not going to give that to Traveler. Oh god, we'll also have to raise her talents, I forgot about that. Well, we're just going to raise them a bit, maybe up to uh, 10 for now. Uh, or, I guess, seven? It depends on... Ooh, yikes. Wait, what? She needs different books? I mean, obviously, I've never raised Traveler's Talons, so, uh... I d she, she needs different books for every level. What is this? Oh my god, that that's horrible. Wait, it's Wednesday today. My dudes. We could do it. I mean, she doesn't have artifacts yet, so... We could try her out a little bit, but I don't think it's gonna be very impressive. Well, let's just see what she can do without artifacts. Actually, you know, for not having artifacts, I mean, she's probably gonna die, but how about a little bit of support here from uh, Water Dude? I actually kind of want to call him Sing Cho for some reason. That's not good. All right, let's go ahead and get a uh, Zhongli shield here. Throw that on them real quick, and then we'll go back to Traveler. Yeah, <laughs> I'm just gonna throw that there, I guess. I want to see her ult real quick. Oh, wow. Is that just the resonance damage? Oh, wait, no. Well, that's Zhongli's pillar and hers. I didn't mean to make this con construction here. <laughs> Thank God Jogli just disappeared in time. And our traveler died, which is kind of annoying, but uh... Ah, jeez, she died, died, died again. Let's just finish this real quick. I'm not sure, it seems like it's pretty hard to get her ult. <laughs> well, I guess that could also be because she has no artifacts, thus no energy recharge. That could be a problem, Moga. Um, so I was thinking about not doing the ult, but... I think we're gonna start with the ult. Okay, why can't you just use these? I have 82 of them. I don't even know why I have so many. I think some of the events give out books. I wasn't actively farming them, obviously, when I have that many already. 
Uh, we do have 18 of these, so I think... Oh, and then we need these again. Wait, no, but I was farming these for, for water, dude. I wanted to raise his ult, actually. So annoying. We're just gonna have to farm some more, I guess. I'd say before we go back, though, we're going to give her some artifacts. Uh, unfortunately, this is gonna be pretty hard because I guess I kind of... Mm, I'm thinking kind of support sub DPS and mixing with Zhongli's pillars. Not on purpose or anything, but like, you know. But I never farm the Geo Place. Here we have this one. It's not horrible. Got some energy recharge and attack. I'm probably only gonna go for two piece just because it's gonna be a lot harder if I don't. Here we have another plus 20. I think this is what Zhongli had on before. That's not bad either at all. All right. Actually, it's not a horrible attack sans. Well, I guess it's just energy recharge since Geo characters don't really care about elements of mastery that much. Four piece archaic Petra does sound interesting though if you can control it right. It does feel like it needs a lot of setup though. Need to go off piece for goblet, but then this one doesn't seem that good. Let's enhance it to four just to see what's going on. If it's like crit rate, then maybe. It's flat HP, so yeah, I think I'm just gonna go two piece something else. Maybe gladiator just for an attack boost. Thought I had more gladiators raised than this, honestly. Dang, so few crit damages. I'm sorry, Kaching. I'll I'll give it back. This is just for the showcase. And here we have an already raised geo damage bonus, so we're just going to give that to her as well. And I think that'll actually do it. Nearly 2300 attack. Uh, decent crit rate to crit damage ratio, actually. Pretty good. Uh, energy recharge seems okay. Geo damage bonus, 61. But I'd say besides having kind of low talents, which we're going to level up a bit more, she is pretty much done, you know? We just uh, gotta go back into the domain, and we'll try her out a bit more here as well, just for fun. We can also go to Animo Traveler and uh, see how she does as well, again, just for fun, but probably I would stick with Geo for the most part. Alright, so we're, gonna, we're just gonna start with Zhongli Shield, maybe get a little bit of Water Duda in here, and uh, I don't know, let's just drop one there. I'm surprised even though we gave her artifacts, it didn't seem to change much. Let's save her ult for the uh, big guy. 18,000? Whoa, okay. That was crazy. She just did an 18k hit with a pillar drop there. That was surprising. All right, I don't know. I'll just go ahead and uh, do some of this. Maybe get some so, some of his orbs back. And uh, drop a pillar first, I suppose. And just go ahead and do a Q. Wow, wow, that was actually pretty strong. Let's drop another pillar. 8k because it didn't crit. I'm surprised at that damage, honestly. And her talent is really low right now. All right, pretty, pretty sick. I'm gonna have to uh, refresh my memory about Geo Resonance because I know it does a lot of different things now. Let's just start with the ult straight away. Oh my God, that was like three hits of 16. 20K from the pillar? Bro, that's actually crazy. I mean, I would say she does have some pretty decent stuff on, so equipment wise, but still, I wasn't expecting it. 20K. And then, you know, all of the, uh, there's also some like utility here. Also, he's getting hit by 6k for each of those, you know, and there's so many pillars around here as well now. He can still hit me, it looks like. <laughs> That's so cool. Ooh, we finally got some purples. All right, cool. I think we're going to leave for now. We might have enough, actually. Starfell Sword. Yeah, it's only level 6. Let's raise that a bit more. I would like to get it to 10 along with uh, Wake of Earth. If the books needed for like 10 to 11 are abundant and we have a decent amount of them, then maybe... Okay, we have enough for that. We'll see what 10 to 11 needs. It is. All right. Yeah, fine. We'll get them to 11. Dang, I was not expecting to raise Traveler this much in, in one video, but uh, she's pretty much as high as I'm probably gonna have her, honestly, even for Inazuma. So uh, yeah, 11 talents, pretty good artifacts, honestly. Although I think I do have to give one back to Kaching and probably the weapon I have to give back to uh, Kazuha. So, uh, I, I might need to make some sacrifices there, but... Okay, yeah, 15% shield strength, 15% damage. Oh, and geo resistance down 20%. And then along with Zhongli's shield, that reduces it by another, like, 20% or whatever it was. Yep, another 20%. So they have their geo resonance reduced a lot, which is why she can do some pretty decent geo damage. Ah, here's a good one to start with. The uh, defense mechanism. Why am I walking? Brings back bad memories. Let's try and do this one only with like rocks from Traveler and and, and Zhongli. So let's just throw one there. 
Let's just throw a pillar there. Let's go back to Traveler for a second. Throw another one here. <laughs> back to Zhongli. Oh, okay, they just completely destroyed them. Zhongli's pillars will take care of it. So we're doing a little mini challenge. Well, let's just go throw the rock on him. We also don't even have uh, Zhongli's shield right now, so we're not getting all the all the perks. Let's go ahead and do that real quick as well. And then drop drop another one here. 27! <laughs> That's crazy. It's, it's on a super short cooldown as well. And get exploded. Let's try the ult here. Dude. Almost killed that hill of churl at once. So here we just have like the resonance damage as well. And of course they can't get past uh, Traveler's ult blockade as well. <laughs> that was pretty sick. Also, I've heard, although I don't know the validity of this, but if you actually aim it and not just tap E, it's a little bit faster, I guess, if you can time it right. Because it does just pop up from the ground. But you do have to hold E for a second, so I don't know. I'll have a side-by-side -side here. Yeah, if you can get the timing down right, it seems like it definitely can be quite a bit faster. But I think that'll take a little practice. Okay, the next daily quest is just one of these, so, uh, yeah, not gonna be able to see too much here, honestly. How's this, slimes? Absolutely destroyed slimes. What we're gonna do now is go to Animo Traveler, just see how it compares to Geo, I suppose. They are quite different, honestly, and I should probably at least swap, you know, from Geo set to Animo set, just, you know, because. There we go, wasn't too hard. Oh, I would also need to switch this. <laughs> Well, it's an off piece at least. We'll just borrow Shao's here. We took like all of his other stuff anyway, so. Create to create damage ratio is a little bit too heavy on crit rate now, but whatever, it's fine. Got kind of a Viridescence set here on her C6. Outside of that though, the uh, constellations seem a bit inferior to Geo. <gasps> no! 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 I knew it! I knew something like that was going to happen! Bruh. That means. Dude, that means that, dude, oh no. That means for Electro, the one I'm actually raising her for is not gonna have any talents raised either. Oh my God, dude, I knew it. I knew something like this. I, I it just, ugh. Obviously we're gonna be keeping her Geo, I guess until Electro comes around. Oh my God, that hurts. And I'm sure like 90% of you already knew that. And we're probably face palming so hard, um, but uh, I digress. It is what it is. I should have known, honestly. They're different skills. Oh man. Oh my god. Whatever. It's been ten months since we've had Traveler. Well, obviously it's not even fair to compare when uh, her talents are not raised. Can I just end the video? I feel bad. I feel so bad. I'm going back to Geo. Geo is pretty nice at least, and I don't think I, I would need Animo. I just wanted to kind of compare them, but I'm not going to raise Animo's skills to 11 also for the comparison. I wouldn't have raised Geo's to 11 if I knew I had to raise Electro's then. Again, I was like, hey, this is a pretty good investment for the future. I mean, I guess it could be worse. We could have just maxed them out. I mean, 11 is only eight, so. You know, it's kind of high, honestly, but... Uh, I definitely made a mistake, but I'm not going to regret it. Geo Traveler, you know, uh, exceeded my expectations. And while, again, I was more preparing for Electro Traveler, you know, I'll take Geo Traveler too. And, you know, at least their level doesn't get reset. Probably Electro Traveler will also start at C0, and then you have to go get his constellations or whatever through the story, perhaps. I don't know how it's gonna work. I don't care right now. I'll just have to make sure I have a decent amount of all types of books when that drops, because, yeah, we'll need them. Yeah, that definitely has to be faster. I don't think I even need the side-by-side. Side. It's actually not too hard to get used to. You, you just have to look at the animation, honestly. I'm probably still not doing it, like, frame-perfect or anything, but give me a break. That's not bad. Last little ult here. Dang! That was like four hits? This is just the Almond Tofu daily quest, so I guess we're pretty much done here. Sucks that they don't share skills, but yeah, I guess it was to be expected. Live and learn, I guess. I'll try and think a little bit more, I guess. That's the only lesson I can take away from it, because like I'm never gonna raise a traveler again. There's only one.
But yeah, that'll pretty much do it. Make sure to tell me what you think in the comments down below. Dropping a like on this video if you did happen to enjoy is always greatly appreciated as well. Also consider subscribing if you want to see more videos like this in the future. Thanks, as always, for watching, and until next time.